What is up, you guys? Konnichiwa, hola, bonjour, hello, and welcome, all of the things. I have recently mentioned in my Instagram that I just don't know how to start these videos anymore. It feels like everybody does the same thing, and I just want to make you feel welcome. So today's video, I'm going to start with a little glass of wine. I just needed to relax just to get myself in the mood, and I hope you guys do the same thing. This is just going to be a very relaxing weekday reset. It's the middle of the week, and I just want to get my house a little bit picked up. I don't want to stress myself out with doing a whole house clean, but I definitely need to make sure that things are wiped down and out of the floor, off the countertops, and I figured that maybe somebody out there might have the same feeling and need to do the same, so I'm just here to give you the motivation. Honestly, you guys, when I got home from this day, I just, I just didn't want to do anything, but I knew that if I didn't do anything, nine times out of 10, it wasn't going to get done. So I wanted to make sure that my dishwasher was ready and there was nothing left in my sink. And I also needed to make sure that the trash was taken out. You guys know that I'm going to be open and honest with you about every single thing on my channel. And I don't know why that sometimes people in my house think that I'm the only one that knows how to take out the trash. But nine times out of 10, that's just how it worked out. So I needed to make sure that all of that was taken out. Also, please don't pay attention to the little insulation strip around my door. We're going to fix that. And I also have these little booties on. I got those from Old Navy, I'm pretty certain of. And that's better than walking around barefoot. I think in my last video, I talked about uh, walking around barefoot and people kind of criticize me for that. I'm sorry. That's just how I was raised. I love walking around barefoot, but at least I got these on. This is like, you know, a step closer to shoes. And, um, I just also wanted to make sure that I got my trash can wiped down. I like to do this at least once a week because it does get kind of stinky. It doesn't get really nasty, but this is one of those things that I think people forget to do. So I wanted to make sure that I put this here in case you haven't thought of it yet. Go ahead and make sure you clean out your trash can. Another thing is, you know, that I watched the TikToks and, um, I saw that apparently we're using our trash bags improperly and you're supposed to turn them inside out. I really don't see the big difference. If you want to do it, great, go for it. But I'm here to tell you, it has not changed my sleep pattern. I'm not living a better life because of it, but you know, do what you want to do. Also, I'm going to go ahead and wipe out the little, um, trash can lid and all of the accoutrement that goes with it. It's disgusting. So make sure you go and do that if you haven't done that in a while. But I've also got some laundry motivation for you guys and just some everyday cleaning just in case you feel like you needed to have a little bit of uplift to get you motivated for today. I really appreciate you guys being here and not all the time am I going to have some deep cleaning, decluttering, you know, just very down and dirty type videos. It's just the two of us here in the house and sometimes I don't have so much to bring you and I'm not one of those people that's going to make a huge mess just to make a video to show you guys, but this is just real life and this is just things that I need to do after getting home from work every single day and I feel like a lot of us, if you're a mother or if you are middle-aged like I am, sometimes you just feel like you're in a rut and you come home every single day from working 40 hours a week or more and you still have that job of keeping your house clean, I'm here for you guys. This is me. This is what my channel is all about. And I hope that you appreciate it. I hope you feel at home. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get into it. This is going to be very relaxing. And I just want to say thank you so much for being here. I'm excited. And we're just going to jump right back on into everything that I have to motivate you for today. So 
So after I got everything cleaned up and wiped down in the kitchen, you guys know that I like to work smarter and not harder. And I went ahead and got Rosie on her way to go ahead and get the kitchen sweeped up. I normally don't use her to, you know, make sure that I have my basic vacuuming done in the house, but it is really a good way to go ahead and get like a pre-clean done. And she works really hard. She's a hardworking lady. So I went ahead and let her loose while I went into the bedroom, made sure that everything was picked up. Um, I have said many multiple times that we live like teenagers in here. Nine times out of ten, we have plates or cups or something in here. And I just wanted to go ahead and make sure that all of that was picked up. I wanted to go ahead and make sure that all of my rechargeables were put away for the phone, for the watches, and everything else. Just go ahead and get those picked up. Get the windows open. I do kind of get home earlier in the afternoon. I get off at 3.30, so by the time I get home and start doing stuff like this, it's about 4 o'clock, and I do have some daylight time left so I like to make sure that the windows are open and it just kind of gives me a little bit of free and relaxing time to go ahead and make sure that things are done. I don't honestly feel rushed most of the time. It's just you know I'll put on some good music. I'll have a glass of wine and get done what I can and um, I feel like that's honestly the most responsible adult thing that I can do. So I'm going to go ahead and get this bed straightened up. It's not like a whole bed makeover. I honestly don't wash our sheets like but every Sunday and I'm totally cool with that. Also I wanted to let you know I think maybe a month ago I shared with you guys my new sheets and comforter. Well it's actually like a duvet set and um I came home one day and Bodie was just, Bodie is my dog if you didn't know, um, he was just acting a little bit weird and I was like, what is wrong with you? Like if you've had a lab, you always know like they've eaten something or they've done something they weren't supposed to and I could just tell that he was kind of off for a little bit. And I was like, what in the world is wrong with you? And we couldn't just figure it out. Like as soon as I got home, he wanted to go outside, which, you know, that's kind of normal, but um, I put his leash on this one day and he ran like as hard as he could. He ran outside and just started eating grass. Like it was like a hippo, like hungry, hungry hippo eating the grass. And immediately I was like, okay, his stomach hurts his, you know, he's either eating something that he hasn't supposed to, or he just doesn't feel well. And nine times out of 10, I'll go ahead and let him eat grass because it's going to make him feel better because it's going to make him throw up and whatever makes them, you know, uncomfortable, it's just going to make him feel better. But then I'm like, okay, girl, if you let him eat the grass, that means he's probably going to throw up in the house and 90% of your house is carpet. So that means you're going to have to clean up dog puke in the carpet. And I just don't want to do that. But, um, you know, he is my main concern. So I was like, okay. What, what's going on? What's wrong? Let me know. Show your mom. Um, so it wasn't but like two days after that, that he finally ended up getting sick. And I was like, I just, I can't figure it out. It wasn't like a certain food or anything like that. We don't um, normally feed him any people food or anything. So I couldn't figure it out. But then that night I went in uh, to go to bed and my little, I don't know what you call them, like throw pillows on the bed, the ones that you see here, um, you know, the ones that you just take off and lay on the floor because that's not what you sleep with. I went to put mine in the floor and I was like, well, that just kind of looks odd. And I started to look at it and this little twerp had gotten into my room at some point during the day while we were at work and chewed the edge of my pillow sham. <sighs> Yeah, so that's what was making his belly hurt, and it was literally the bed set that I just bought that week. So, needless to say, I will probably be purchasing a new bed set here soon. <laughs> but you guys wouldn't know it. You couldn't tell if I hadn't told you. But, you know, it is what it is. That's just what it is about having dogs. But I'm going to go ahead and get through this laundry. Um, I've had just a, a total, like, brain hemorrhage with my laundry lately. I just don't know why. Like I will go for three or four days and not wash anything and everything that I have clean in the basket, I'll just like live out of. I will just pick out like clean underwear, uh, clean jeans, clean shirt or whatever for work. And I'll get home the next day. I'm like, I really need to do laundry, but I just don't feel like it. And I know that I'm not the only one that does that. So 
If you live out of your clean laundry baskets, please let me know in the comments below so that I don't feel bad. But um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. I have two baskets here that I need to get through. So I'm going to go ahead and make good of this time that I have this afternoon and make sure that I get those done. Every single thought inside my brain replaces you. So while I've been getting everything else cleaned throughout the house, I had my living room blankets in the washer getting cleaned. We really use these literally like every single night. And you guys know that I always like to make sure that everything is clean and smell good and dog hair free. So I went ahead and got those back out of the dryer and into this little table. I've had a couple people ask me about these tables. I got them all literally, um, well, the one that my blankets are in, those that one came from Kirkland's. And the two that are beside my couch, those came from Marshall's. Um, so that's where I got those. So it's time for Rosie to be done. And that was all the disgusting things that she picked up. And I wanted to show you this Aunt Fanny's carpet refresher. If you guys did anything for the Amazon two-day um, you know, prime shopping deal thing. I literally only grabbed like three or four things. There wasn't really a lot of things that I needed, but I've been wanting to try this for so very long. And I went ahead and picked this up. I got it in the lemon scent. They have lemon and lavender. I think it smells so stinking good. You guys, it made my whole entire house smell just so fresh. It's not overbearing and you can't really put your finger on it. It is literally just like the lightest scent, but it helps absorb all the nasty odors in your carpets and things like that. I recommend this 10,000%. I don't have it. Um, I don't think I have it linked on my Amazon, but you can just search it on Amazon. It's the Aunt Fanny's Carpet Refresher. Again, like I said, that comes in two different scents. I got that and I got Bodhi a new toy and I got some new kitchen towels. So the kitchen towels I plan to use for like my next couple of videos. I want to do like an entire kitchen deep clean for fall. I'm going to basically take everything out of my pantry. I'm going to redo all of that. I've you know, not got a lot of storage for things in my kitchen or anywhere throughout my house for that matter. And I, my kitchen towels are just raggedy. So I definitely needed some new ones and I went ahead and picked those up and I decided to use my bottom drawer in my pantry for all of my kitchen towels and I'm going to be doing that. So if you are looking for like a a whole kitchen like organization deep clean video that's going to be coming up. So if you're not subscribed, Go ahead and subscribe, click that notification bell, that way it'll bring you right back to that video. And the last thing I'm going to go ahead and do is make sure that everything smells good. I actually found two new of the um, sensational wax melts that I get from Walmart. They are like Halloween themed and they smell so good you guys. I went ahead and put those in my warmers to get everything smelling good and I also went ahead and went over my couch with my fabric shaver. I don't really know if that's what you call it but that's what I call it. 
you can find these anywhere and I like to use this because even though Buddy is not allowed on the couch inevitably he gets on there and his nails just you know make a mockery out of my couch and myself. Also if you have like uh, little buttons on your jeans or pockets or anything. You're just going to get these little woolly boogers all over your couch. I don't know if that's what you call them, but that's what we call them here in the South. But I like to go over uh, my couch with this and just make it look nice and clean. So I want to go ahead and make sure that I thank you so very much for being here today. I appreciate all of your love and support. If you enjoy this video, make sure you let me know by giving this a thumbs up. I know it was a short one, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of motivation for the week. I promise you I'm going to have so much stuff coming up for you guys. I've got a ton of deep cleaning and decluttering, so I really hope that you come back and visit me again, but I'm going to go ahead and go. I love you and appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. It's been two weeks since I saw you. I'm sorry things end up this way.